This video explains how to draw elevation, sectional plan and true shape of hexagonal prism. Conditions of the solid Hexagonal prism is resting on the ground with its base, that is axis of the prism is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. At the same time, the base edges are parallel to VP and the cutting plane is inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP. Draw an XY line first. Draw a circle below the XY line. Radius of the circle must be equal to the side of the hexagon. For drawing the hexagon with the sides parallel to XY line, draw a horizontal central line for the circle. With the same radius of the circle, cut arcs on the circle from both the end points of the axis. Join these intersection points to complete the hexagon. Name the corners of the hexagon as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To draw the elevation, draw projectors from the corners of the hexagon, maintain the height of the prism above the XY line, darken the visible lines. Name the corners in the elevation as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash and 6 dash. By this the projection part is over. For sectioning, the cutting plane or sectional plane is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. When the cutting plane is perpendicular to VP, the sectioning of the solid must be done in the elevation. Locate the cutting plane on the axis, that is by taking the distance from the top. Draw a horizontal reference line through the point, then draw the cutting plane through this point at the given angle. Cutting plane is passing through the top base. Project the points towards the plan. Darken that line in the plan. The portion at the left side of this line is the sectional surface. Draw hatching lines or sectional lines in this area. To draw the true shape of the section, draw perpendiculars from all the points where the cutting plane cuts the prism. Measure the distances of each of the points from the plan and mark it on the corresponding projectors. Join all these points by straight line. Draw hatching lines in the closed region. Show the major dimensions.